Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio X Fu Resident Evil 2 with Mio X Fu. I wonder how many times I'm gonna make that mistake in a row. <laughs> um And last time, last episode, we <laughs> spent a bit of backtracking actually, that's why it was so long, to finally get the spade key, which we found the unicorn medallion under a no under Chris's diary on its desk. Ha <laughs> he keeps a diary. But in all seriousness, uh, this unlocks, well, new paths for us. So, we also met up with Claire, and we made a plan that once we find as many survivors in the precinct as we can, we're gonna get the hell out of Dodge. Because, I mean, it's not safe here. It's not safe here at all. There are liquors about. <laughs> that name. Alright, so... Let's venture into these new rooms, shall we? I'm expecting to die right away. I do not hear anyone about, so let's take our time. Copy machine? That's that's nice. Ooh! Patrol report! Uh, we received a report of suspicious of individuals skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area. I located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to pursue him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9x19 parabellum rounds, and an infrared scope. It was broken. And a report. Aha. Uh -huh. So it looks like somebody was probably trying to, uh, sabotage... The sewers? I don't know. Or maybe it was for an assassination. Huh. Although, I mean, just the scope does not really fit with, uh, just having rounds. Oh my god! That is six... Six ink ribbons we have already. They are not skimping on this. <laughs> Visual materials. So I see. Hard to hear, to hear. Whoa! Whoa! Leon, you are so much more athletic than Chris. No, I didn't want you to get up there again. I'm assuming there's a reason for you getting up there, rather than just being like, Oh yeah, look at me. Aha! I see, it's to reach that thing that's up there. I will take those mach uh, handgun bullets. I keep thinking they're machine gun bullets. Uh oh, We're running out of space. All right, let's see if we can. Uh... Aha! There we go. And is this going to be a? What is it? Um, a hex crank? Yeah, it is a crank, but it looks like it's a square one. All right, we got to drop off. Um. One or two things before we can grab that. Um, I think I'm gonna drop off the knife. Let's see what we have. I'm gonna drop off the first aid spray. Actually, we don't need this much. These this many, these many um, health recovery items right now. I mean, we usually only use one at a time. You know, I'm kind of stingy with them, so I think we'll be good. He also just runs much better than Chris does. <laughs> Like he actually knows how to hold a gun. Look at that. This guy's a professional. Or as some people would call it, a rookie. <laughs> Chris would be like, come on kid, you gotta loosen up. <laughs> Alright, so let's drop off. Whoa. Drop off that. We're gonna drop off those. There we go. We'll have enough room to get whatever we need. Probably hold on to the hex crank for now because we might need it soon. Um, I don't know. Just, just an idea. Not hex crank. It's probably just a regular crank, you know, with the square hole. It's a circular crank, <laughs> and it's broken. That's because it's a circular crank, you, you idiot. <laughs> There's no purchase. Ah. Uh, so we gotta push this back again. Poltergeist pushing back this 
this rack full of toilet paper. I don't even know what that is. It looks like it's just a rack full of toilet paper. <laughs> Rolls. We've taken the crank. No, oh, I guess it looks like a rack full of cans. But from this angle... From this angle... Look, it looks like a rack full of toilet paper rolls. So... <laughs> oh, I like that, too. I like that... When he's going over paper, his footsteps change sound. I think that didn't happen in Resident Evil 1. It's just... it's There's just a lot of changes in this that make it... Feels so much better. Let's check this. And it's square shaped. Okay, I was right. Cool. Like, watch as I go over this. Oh, I guess not. Oh, yeah, it is. Here's, um. I want to say that's the crunching of the glass because it doesn't sound, sound liquidy enough to be the blood underfoot. Aha! Get to run past the zombies once more. Huh. Again, I'm expecting them to reach out and grab me again. I guess not. Oh well. <laughs> no skin off my bones, literally. <laughs> Shouldn't really be complaining. Oh, wait, what, could we open this one? It's locked. A, a diamond is un etched under the keyhole. That's what it was. The sudden noises in the soundtrack. I know I'm saying like, oh, I know if it was, it's a Resident Evil game, it would show me something jumping out. Um, or it would show me the first person view of someone, something creeping up on me to really freak me out. But it still freaks me out a little. Can I check out these at all? These carvings? No? I want to get a closer look at those. Those are pretty cool looking. Oh well. I guess they're not important for anything because they're not giving me any flavor text. They're not even visually um, distracting enough to give me flavor text. Text. <laughs> flavor text. Flavor Texans. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's behind this door. Yep, I guess I will discard it. Good thing that we know that every door that we will ever approach in the future We'll never need that key. Oh boy. Let's see if we can uh, not disturb them. No, it looks like we're gonna have to go past them. Were those zombies eating more zombies? Oh boy. Oh jeez. Nope. 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 That's good. That's good. That I am totally fine with you not chewing me up to bits. Oh boy. Lovely. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. That's an actual officer. It's terrible. Well... It's not much left for him to help me out with, so... Sorry, man. I wish I could have been there a little earlier. Ooh, reading material. Maybe I can, uh, read a magazine while I wait. <laughs> Desk is locked. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Someone must have been calling my name. Ooh. The library stacks. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything important. Wonder if there's any sort of puzzle with these library stacks. Probably. This... Jeez, this music. <laughs> it's a bit tense for nothing happening. A bit tense for a library. I think if every library uh, played this music, nobody would get any studying done. Studying or research. Hey, yeah, what's that? You're not gonna show me? Alright, how about a folding chair? Huh? You gonna do anything with those? No, of course not. But seriously, this... this... 
Is that not important? I saw a chart on there. Jeez. Oh, maybe only notices, but... Wait, company data files primarily on Umbrella Inc. Cool, we've got an entire nook or an entire bookcase on Umbrella Inc. Profiling investigation. Okay, so these are for uh, people to study on investigation technique, maybe? Maybe? No, wait, was this a sliding door? Oh, okay, I think I see what we're supposed to do. Switch the side. Uh, let's push it left. Aha, okay, we can't switch it left. Let's go right. Oh, there's no power, that's right. Wait. Is there no power? Because the lights are on. Maybe there's just no power to this. Okay, well, we'll have to fix that, I think, because there's probably... That's how we get uh, to that room in the back. By moving that last uh, shelf that doesn't have a switch. Anything? Everything's about chemistry. Ooh, some nice paneling right there. Uh, not up here to be useful. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God, that freaked me out. <sighs> Scarier than everything we've seen so far. <laughs> me just falling through the ground. A bronze plate with a picture on it. Okay. So... Aha. Okay, we've got to arrange the stacks to be like that. Power switch to the shelf. Will you push it? Yes, I will. Alright, there we go. Now we can get out. And... I'm assuming... What we want to do is... One second, I need to look at back at that. Is set these up so that they look like this. So we want gold, silver, gold, silver, silver, gold. Um, isn't that the right... Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta move that one over one. But then I think we have the right pattern already. Uh, push it right. Yeah, there we go. Easy enough. <laughs> Jeez. Two button puzzle. <laughs> Alright, and what do we have here? Will you take the bishop plug? Um. Okay. Is it supposed to be some sort of spark plug? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, where are we anyway? I'm trying to remember where we are map-wise. No! It just hit X. Um... Oh. Yeah, this is- <laughs> sorry, I was so entranced by the fact that- oh my god, look at this library that I forgot that um, there was a hallway we didn't go down that I want to check real quick before we end this off for the episode. So we're about that time. Oh man, disappearing bodies. Don't you love them? I don't. Because <laughs> again, it just makes me think, oh, someone's going around collecting bodies or something like that. Oh, it's just a barred up window? Oh, hey, something useful. More handgun bullets. Thank you. I checked that on a whim. Anything? Door is nailed shut. It doesn't look like I can pass through here. Okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I would not want to pass through that area anyway. We're not with all that uh, spooky red light. So... The question now becomes, do we go through through the ground floor or the top floor? And do I use X to confirm or do I not use X? Alright, so the ground floor leads us up to um 
Uh, I mean, the, the first floor leads us to the second floor of the precinct and the rest of it. Whereas the top floor leads us to a long hallway and one room. So we're probably going to do the top floor. Next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio X Fu. My voice is getting a little... Uh, so I'm going to take a break for a few minutes. And see you guys next episode. Take it easy.